Hello and welcome back to Under the Knife 2. Well, we're gonna try another. Uh, sorry, we're attempting a uh, another another very important mission against uh in the battle in the battle against Delphi. So let's get to it. Episode four: Dreams End. How's the investigation going over at Acropolis? So you can't find any of their top management, huh? They're probably gone into hiding. Yeah, it's going well on our side. We're having the same problem. Mercer isn't here. Right. Call me if anything turns up. Have the foxes all left their hole? Or... Dr. Stiles, there's a man inside Mercer's office, just down the hall. He said he wouldn't talk to anyone but you, and I think he's one of the HOA doctors. What? Me? He looked African. Any chance you know him? It's a deal. Would it be alright if we talked to him alone for a few minutes? That's fine, but he wasn't he wasn't being very cooperative. Be careful and let me know if you need us. I have a bad feeling about this. You've come, Dr. Stiles. President Mercer. He isn't here. He's looking for something. A deal. The hands of Asclepius has been ordered to seize all of its operations. And I'd also like to make sure you get examined. Dr. Toolba, there's a possibility that you've been infected with a new type of guilt. There's something I need to say to you, Dr. Stiles. What is it, Adil? It wasn't fair. I was born and raised in Costigar, where every day was a struggle to survive. I did everything in my power to become a doctor, but my skills were nothing compared to yours. No. Adil, it's not a contest. There's no point in comparing us. You don't understand. That's why I joined the hands of Asclepius. My healing touch may be artificial, but so what? Is that so wrong? Uh, Doctor? Dr. Tool, but don't you realize how dangerous this new guilt is? You see, Dr. Stiles, President Mercer gave me what I wanted. He shared with me his secret. What is he talking about? Neo guilt. The great silence, siege, has changed me. I am a new creation. He's lost it. No, Derek, it's the guilt. It's affecting his mind. Be careful. Who knows what he'll do next? Dr. Stiles. Do you know what else the healing touch is good for? It's also good for killing. Stop it, Adil. We're doctors, not murderers. <laughs> Yeah. Dr. Stiles. A deal. You have to snap out of it. What is this sudden pain? It hurts so much. Ah. A deal. Dr. Stiles. Don't worry. I'm alright. We need to focus on a deal. What is this? Angie, we have to operate immediately. Understood. Yes, Doctor. Okay, let's begin the briefing. Dr. Toolbo's affected area is the right lung, and as expected, there are chiral reactions. The Neo Guilt Siege. You've heard of it, Professor Blackwell? Indeed. Yes, it's a strain of guilt that was developed here. It causes pus and, hem and hemo uh, hemotocellus in the organs. Its very existence is a testament to why, recent gu to why guilt research was internationally banned. And so far, no one has found any countermeasures to use against it. That's insane. Angie, please continue the briefing. Yes, we only have one objective for this operation. Eliminate the new type of guilt. How are we supposed to accomplish that, though? We don't know anything about it. I will save this patient. Still, we have to cure him. Remember what Adil said when he left Costigar? He wanted to help people suffering from diseases and injuries. He wanted to restore his country. I won't let those desires just fade away like this. You're right, Doctor. Let's save Dr. Tulba. I'll support you to the best of my ability. We'll begin the procedure. Well, let's begin. So unfortunately for uh unfortunately for us, that that uh this little treatment plan that, that Mercer gave a deal has made him go all cuckoo bananas. But he's still our friend, so we're gonna help him.
connection. Derek. Dr. Styles. Let's use the ultrasound to, to find where it is. Derek. And it's a... Uh, uh, yeah, I know that it kind of looks like a fidget spinner, but it's not. Uh, there we go. Now, once the, uh, once all this gas appears, you have to blow into the microphone. You see it leaves a hole where it, where it attacked. Then we're going to use the, uh, antibiotic gel to freeze it in place. And so we shall. Oh, it wasn't fast enough. Chiral reaction is weakening. Let's go and heal this up before it uh before it gets worse. Uh, I guess we'll deal with that later. Oh jeez, oh jeez. I don't like that. Good enough. That's cheating. Oh, this is where it... Then once you get to this part... It's pulling an onyx on us, so... Uh, oh yeah, attack the yellow one, not the red ones. The, the red ones are fakes. Let's see if left any hemorrhages. No? Okay. Where are you? Very nice. Reaction is negative. And that's the end of that. I don't see any more hemorrhages, so let's just uh let's just clean up here. So yeah, Siege can be very stressful, but out of the new types of guild they add in this game, it probably is my favorite one, just because of how different it is. Yes, now all we can do is just uh, pray and hope for the best, and, um, you know, hopefully that, uh, <clears throat> hopefully that Dr. Tulba gets better. Hey, rank. Oops. Again. Back in position. Where am I? Dr. Styles. Huh? Dr. Styles? Nurse Thompson. I. Don't worry, Dr. Tulva. You're okay now. We successfully extracted the gill from inside you. You may have slight memory loss, though. No, Dr. Styles. I remember everything. I. I can't believe all the things I did to you. It's all right. It's all right. Your mind and body were being affected by guilt. That's no excuse for what I did. Those feelings were already there, deep down inside me. I don't deserve to be a doctor. Hey! That isn't true, Dr. Tulba. We all have our weaknesses. But we overcome them and move on. We have to look toward the future, so please, don't think such things. You can't give up now. But... I don't have the healing touch anymore. No. That's not what's important. You have the desire to save people. 
As long as you have that, you'll be a great doctor. You really think so? I do. We're doctors because we don't give up on our patients, no matter what the circumstances. And I made you a promise that I would return you to Costagar as an accomplished surgeon. A deal? Will you let me keep that promise? Dr. Stiles. Thank you. I'm sorry for everything. Hey! I heard they're about to wrap up their investigation, Heather. I'm glad it ended without any major chaos. Yes, that's a relief. It's too bad they weren't able to arrest President Maizumi, but... Oh, hold on, Dr. Chase. My cell's ringing. Hmm? It's restricted. Hello? Heather. Father, where are you? Don't ask that. You must already know. I can't let myself be taken in yet. Heather, I have a favor to ask of you. What are you talking about? If... If Tracy ever wakes up, take good care of her for me. I'll be counting on you. Father? Father! Hmm, suspicious. I guess we'll do one more. Sure. I feel generous. Episode 5, Hall of Shadows. Ladies and gentlemen, Caduceus USA has verified the existence of four new guilt strains. Only a select few were even aware of this within Acropolis and the hands of Asclepius. They dubbed these mutations Neo Guilt, which is what I will refer to them as for simplicity's sake. The fact that the HOA and Acropolis shared the knowledge of these four guilds clearly indicates that they were intent on researching the pathogens. Yes, this is a dreadful state of affairs. They believed they were trying to find a cure for guilt, when in fact they were researching it. Okay. It's important to note, however, that this research was not for the purpose of terrorism, but profit. By no means, of course, does that make them any less guilty of such, of such a heinous crime. We've already encountered three of the new strains, but we have little knowledge of the fourth. I can only hope that no one will fall victim to it. The chances of that happening would decrease if we could apprehend the purveyors. If I may, the FBI has recently provided some intel that could lead to their whereabouts. As it turns out, one of Patrick Mercer's subsidiary companies owns a large plant in Palmwood. The facility is relatively new, and we have learned some startling things about it. Mercer was using it to furnish his medical supplies, mostly the type needed for epidemics or outbreaks. The nature of the materials being produced were justified the need for, for advanced security measures. It's basically a fortress. If they fled there, that would certainly buy them enough time to continue any remaining research. We've sent in a request for the National Guard to take command of the infiltration. The regular police just aren't equipped with it to deal with this type of situation. Director Hoffman, I can also guarantee that you that your medical team's support will be solicited. We offer it willingly. We must do everything we can to, to thwart Mercer's plans. Alright, we are over the Pacific Ocean right now. These are in. We need to approach as low as we can to avoid being detected. As soon as we land, the spearhead team will make for the area we've already secured. Dr. Stiles, my squad is in charge of escorting you. Yes. Thank you. Angie, how are you holding up? I'm fine, Doctor. We've been through situations like this before. I'm more worried about Heather. No, I'm okay, too. I'm the one who insisted on coming. Seems like you're shaping up to be an excellent surgical assistant. Yeah, it was really brave of you to volunteer for this. Especially since, well, I was just so surprised to hear that you were Mercer's daughter. I'm sorry for not letting you know earlier. I've tried to cut all tell my ties with him. He's a very self-centered and egotistical man. No matter what he says, he's only out for himself. Still, I felt like I had to do something. For my mother's sake. Heather, it's very admirable. We'll be landing shortly. You guys in the med team better hold on tight. It's gonna get rough. The path ahead looks clear, sir. Alright, secure the area then. Let's keep moving. We haven't found any hostiles yet, but stay alert. Dr. Stiles, we've prepared a safety zone for your team. Please, head on over. Yeah. Will do. Angie, Heather, let's be careful. Right. Don't worry about us, Doctor. We're both doing fine. It may seem slow, but we're making good progress here. 
I'm sure it won't be long now before we find the targets. What the? You all right? I stepped in something. It's some kind of gel. I don't know what it is. Maybe I should... Try not to move. I'll have one of the doctors. Wait, what's that sound? Flashy lights are bad for your health, people. Come on, fall back! All of you, get out of there! I saw a flash. I think it was an explosion. This is bad. We can't move. Damn, it's a trap. Doctor, I'm gonna get those men out of there myself. Be ready to treat the wounded. Understood. Angie, let's get set up. We may be dealing with both external injuries and burn wounds. Understood. I'll make sure we're prepared. I'll explain the condition of our patients. We'll be treating three American soldiers who are suffering from serious burns. These injuries are caused by the trap that was set inside the plant. All three have very severe injuries. We can't waste any time. There is only one objective for the operation. Treat the burns with the autografting procedure. We'll have to operate on them in succession, Doctor. Let's stay focused. Understood. Let's begin the operation. Please inject the medication. All right, here we are again with the uh, whole skin grafting thing. Oh, that goes over here. Oh, that goes here. What am I? Yeah. What am I thinking? Had a little brain fart there. Pardon that. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's treat the burned one, or the third degree burn, or is, it first, or is that a first degree burn? I always get these two confused. I shouldn't, but I do. Oh, what? I actually do not know they could do that. That's kind of hilarious. Maybe I did it, maybe I did at one point and then forgot. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On to the next patient. Look. Um, yeah. I guess we'll do one at a time here. So you can almost do this in a, in sort of like a figure eight pattern. It's a little tricky to do, however. I can't believe I missed that. One, two, three, four. It helps if you um, help you if you obtain the uh, the full dose of serum before you uh, you know before you grab the uh, before you grab the skin grafts from the from the other leg. Oh, well, we have a ton over here. Goodness. I might as well get that one first before it goes before it, uh, goes bad. Uh, sorted. Sorted to that. Nope, don't need the healing touch, please. Like that. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, this operation can be a little awkward. Not because it's hard or anything, just... Okay, I thought for some reason it was going to pull a internal hemorrhage uh, card on me. And I did not want that. So, had to be sure. Okay, almost done. One, two, three, four. And that's all she wrote. Oh, I was just, I, I just went under the 60, 60 second mark. That is, wow. Wow, so that, yeah, so that uh, time remaining was 59.98. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, let's go back. Hey. The support says there's been casualties. Do you think Derek and the others are all right? I hope so. I'm kind of worried. It's so quiet here. Director Hoffman. Looks like they confirmed the presence of a laboratory inside this in a central area. Derek is okay, and his team should be entering there shortly. Well... Hmm. We'll hope for the best. Dr. Chase, do you have a package from our research department ready? Yes. I'll take it to Derek as soon as our military escort gets here. I don't know what Mercer's plans are, but we'll make sure that no guilt escapes this facility. Alright, good call, good call, good call. Call the capital C. Heh. <laughs>